Has this been helpful to anybody? Yeah, yes, Sean, it's, it's been it's very helpful. Yeah, I have a question. This is sure, Chris. who's this? Hi, Chris. Hi. Okay, forums, Guido, all of these things, you have to be very specific. What if you're looking at something like how to help people who are, how to help people get a breakthrough, you know, so they can um, do their maximum potential? I mean, what kind of a, does that kind of kick you out of a forum so you have to get more specific? Here's, what, here's my thought, Chris. Here's my thought, Chris. You're not going to build your business finding people, general people who just want all kinds of breakthroughs. You are going to find your you're going to you're going to find your business by finding specific people who need a breakthrough. So you're going to find divorced people that need a breakthrough. You're going to find crippled people that need a breakthrough. You're going to find dog owners who need a breakthrough. You are going to find people who need a financial breakthrough. You're going to find people who need a relationship breakthrough. You're going to find you're going to find people that need to have specific breakthrough needs. Okay, you, weight loss breakthrough, weight gain breakthrough, exercise breakthrough, heart attack breakthrough, stroke recovery breakthrough, peace breakthrough, happiness breakthrough. People aren't looking for breakthroughs. They are looking for they have a problem, and then you are going to suggest the breakthrough as the solution. But you're not going to be you're not going to be touching people out there in the communities. There's no breakthrough community. If there is, they probably know as much about breakthrough as you do, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People are not going to a breakthrough community. They are going to a problem community, okay? They go to, I have a problem with my restaurant, and I need a breakthrough. I have a problem with my 12-year-old who throws temper tantrums, and I need a breakthrough. I have a problem because I'm stressed out, and I need a breakthrough. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking as you were talking. I mean, your presentation was very clear to me on that. Um, so, yes, that means Excellent. yeah, get some work done there. Excellent. Thanks. Folks, I want to kind of tag on what Chris just said. I've taught on this before, but it's been a long time. I want to touch on it for a split second. I think this is a great opportunity, a great time to do this. And this is the idea that you are not – when you – are marketing, whether you're doing Facebook ad, whether you're doing an AdWords ad, whether you're writing an article, whether you're getting involved in a forum community, whether you're getting involved in a Facebook community, if you're getting involved in the Squidoo community, whatever you're doing, you are not marketing your solution at all. You are finding people with problems. That's what you're doing. You're finding people. All of your marketing is about finding people with problems. Once you found that they have a problem, then you offer the solution to them. Okay? I remember one time I used to sell um, in former former selling days. I used to sell telephone service. Okay? And the first question that I always would ask, and I don't remember the, direct, the exact line anymore, but my, I mean, somebody would open the door. I did it door to door. Somebody would open the door. I would say, "Hi, I'm with the XYZ company. Do you have?" ABC telephone service. And they would say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. And then if they would say, yes, I do, then I would say, okay, great. How would you like it if I could X, Y, Z? Okay? And if they said, no, I have, you know, DEF company, I would say, oh, okay, how would you like it if you could X, Y, Z? I never knocked on a door and said, hi, I'm with the X, Y, Z company, and if you'll buy my product, you'll get Da, 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 da. I always found out where they were. Now, you may say, well, that's not really finding out their problem. Well, for me it was because there was like three or four different telephone providers, and I knew because I, was, I had taken the time to learn, and most of the time customers would tell me what their problems were. I knew that company A had X, Y, Z problems. I knew that company B charged too much. I knew that company C had dropped lines. And so if somebody said, oh, I'm with company A, I knew exactly what to say to that person because I knew what their problem was. I knew they were getting overcharged on a specific thing. I knew it. Why? Because that was the MO for that company. So I knew that I could say, well, what if I could save you 25 bucks a month on your service and give you a month free? Okay, now, if it was the company that had the dropped calls, I could say instead, well, let me ask you this. 
you, you, you ever have any dropped call? Oh, yeah, two a day. Well, let me ask you this. By the way, what's your name? Oh, it's John. John, let me ask you this. What if I could put you in a phone service that's, well, it's actually going to still save you 20 bucks a month, but guaranteed no dropped calls or you get your money back for that month? Would that excite you? What do you think everybody says? Yeah, I'd love to have it where there's no dropped calls. Absolutely. That, how did I do it? I did it by finding out what the problem is and if people have a problem. Let's say that you're going door to door. I'm going to go back to door to door because if you think about it, when you are advertising online, you're going door to door. You're, you're getting to the door of the Internet computer. Think about it mentally. So let's say that, that you're selling, um, let's say you're selling sandwiches. You're, you're selling breakfast burritos door to door. Okay. But what do you do when you come in the door? If you're savvy, you say, is anybody hungry this morning? Seven people raise their hand. Excellent. I have a solution for you. It's a brand made, it's brand new made, it's still hot burrito for two bucks. Hey, anybody got 14 bucks, buy everybody a burrito. Okay? Did I, do I come in? Now, maybe for a cheap item like that, maybe I do come in and, oh, burrito's for sale, burrito's for sale. But probably if you split tested it, you'd get more sales by finding out if people are hungry before you offered the burrito. Would you offer a burrito to people who have just eaten breakfast? No. Why? Because they're not hungry. We go where the problems are. Let's say you have a nail salon. Let's say you have a nail salon and you're trying to get more customers. Would you do a mailing to males in your neighborhood? Or would you do a mailing to females between the ages of 30 and 50? If you could do the demographics, you do the mailing to females. Okay, let's say that you hired a kid to go out and pass out flyers for your nail salon, and you instructed him to have some special words when he came in to the, 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 everywhere that he went. He would say, is anybody here get their nails done, and you're not happy with where you're going now? Three ladies raise their hand, and you say, excellent. I have something very special for you. The owner of the local nail salon is willing, since you're not happy with where you're at now, he will give you a free Nay, you just come in, you have anything done to your nails you want, it's for free. See, now, let me ask you this. Could you offer the whole world free nails? No, you'd go out of business. Because you have 15-year-old teenagers that just want to get their first nails done for free. But if you go in and you find people who are already paying 40 bucks a week to have their nails done, and they're not happy with where they are, can you afford to get their nails done for free? Absolutely, because if you can get them to switch, they're worth 40 bucks a week, Times 50 weeks, it's $2,000 a year. Okay? Here's the thing. You've got to think outside the box, and you've got to think about what are people's problems and find people who have problems, then you can solve the problem. It's exactly the same way online. Now, you know, I've, you know in, in the prior training, I went, I went on and on about the different ways, so I won't do that here. But online, you've got to go where the problems are. You know, if, you know, if you were to ask somebody else, what my secret to my business has been for the five, first five years, what do you think people would say? Most people would probably say the secret to my success is article marketing. <laughs> That's not the secret to my success. The secret to my success is going where people are that have, might have problems. Now, article marketing happened to be the vehicle that I chose to get to those people. There's a hundred different ways you could get to those same people. The secret to my success is not article marketing. The secret to my success is going where the problems are. So in fact, I'm going to throw out an idea, and I've never probably taught on this before. It's just a flash of an insight in my mind, and I've done this. I've just done this subconsciously. In fact, if you go read my or if you read my articles, okay. Well, in fact, even if you read my article writer's articles, I've worked with her for so long now that I think most of her articles, almost all of my articles solve problems for people. They don't just tell an interesting story. And what I think happens a lot of times with article marketing that holds people back is they're writing interesting things about their product. But nobody cares about the interesting things about your product. They're reading your article because they have a problem. Because remember, only people who have problems go to Google to find you in Easy Articles or Squidoo or Facebook or anywhere else. People don't search for answers when they don't have problems. When was the last time that you went searching for new tires when your current tires were not getting old? When was the last time that you called a tow truck driver to plug your flat tire when you didn't have a flat tire? 
when was the last time that you went to the grocery store to buy steaks for dinner when you weren't going to eat dinner at home and you had no guests coming over? When was the last time, ladies, that you went to get your nails done when you just had them done yesterday and they're beautiful and they're the right color? Nobody does the same thing that they're having already have had success with again until it's time to do it again. Everybody buys when they have a problem or a need, with the exception of luxury goods. I mean, a luxury good, you know, $1,000 dress, then maybe they buy it because of a different reason. It's just there. You know, when you're talking about information like what we're talking about here, people buy information when they have a problem, not when they have their problem solved. And so your marketing always must meet people who have problems. Okay, let me give you one example, and I'll open the call again. One example of where people go wrong when they're doing pay-per-click advertising. A lot of times they advertise free ebook on how to train your dog. What happens? They get billions of clicks. They pay lots of money. But the only people they get are people that just want something free. Only maybe 5% actually have a dog training problem, a real dog training. They may have a dog. They may think they're going to have a dog training problem later. Okay, but if you were to change the headline, and I'm not telling, I'm not giving you scientifically good words here, but it's just the idea here. What if you were to change that to, does your dog urinate in the living room? If so, click here and I'll show you how to fix them in 36 hours. Who's going to click there? Only people that have a problem with their dog urinating. They're the same thing, temper tantrum. Let's say you have a 12-year-old with a temp- temper tantrum. If you have a headline that says, free ebook to controlling your teenager, you might get a lot of clicks from people who want to control their teenager, but very few people have a real problem today. Very few people are going to buy. But what if your headline read, does your 12-year-old throw temper tantrums and scare you? If so, click here, and I'll show you how to fix them in 90 minutes or whatever, three days, whatever. What's going to happen? Almost everybody that clicks there is probably going to have a 12-year-old or 11-year-old or 13-year-old that has temper tantrum problems. You won't get as many clicks, but you're going to get real people who have real problems, and who buys? People with real problems. I mean, think about you. You're in my coaching program. Did you join my coaching program because you're one of my competitors and you just really want to know how I'm doing things? I mean, maybe one of you out of everybody, okay? But all the rest of you, you joined my coaching problem because you had a problem and you wanted me to show you how to fix it. Why are you on this call today? Well, because you have a problem or you know that you have problems and you want me to help you get to the next level. Exactly the same thing in your business. The only people who are going to buy from you are people who have problems. So you want to stop wasting your time on the 97% of the population that do not have problems and only look for people who have problems. Any more comments or questions on what I've just shared with you? No, that was great. Very helpful. Excellent. Thank you. Very helpful. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, folks.